Okay, let's take a look at the first item. This is the Vintage Indonesian Noodles. It is the magenta edition, and it comes with chopped peppers and stringy onions. If I depackage the item, and that actually is how I got my left butt cheek slapped by Jennifer Love Hewitt. Ah, okay, it all makes sense now. The cucumber, the restraining order. Okay, square up, two, three, two, and drop your guard. Take a real big shot on the chin. It is crucial that you get rocked real hard on the chin, and that's gonna prove to your shamed parents and your unimpressed girlfriend that you're a real man. The point of those examples is that pretty much every type of content creator could use a good picture-in-picture -picture effect. And not only is the one I'm gonna go over today the best one out there for Final Cut Pro, but it's also budget-friendly and it is so, so easy to use. The plugin is called FCB's Picture-in-Picture -picture Effect from Mr. Dylan Bates, the Final Cut Bro. You just apply it to the clip that you like from your effects browser. And look at this, bing! Bang, boom. Not only can you quickly adjust the size with the on-screen controls, but you can move it anywhere you want on your screen easily, and you can even fine tune the position of that clip in your picture in picture. It's the simple things like this that make editing so much easier. And even though that alone makes the plugin worth it, the plugin also gives you tons of ways to customize it to fit your style and your brand. This first section lets you make it so your picture in picture animates in or out, at whatever speed you'd like. So you can go from your main shot to having that main shot on another clip without ever having to set keyframes or anything. Section two is all about adjusting the shape to fit your style. So you can change it to a square, have more rounded corners, adjust the size of the inside shot, and extend video edges is cool because it mirrors your shot in the picture in picture so you have a little extra room to zoom out of that inside shot. This also makes the in and out animation smoother looking, in my opinion, because you don't see the black bars as it's scaling from 100% size down to the size of the picture in picture. Just a heads up that if you zoom out too much though, the mirrored edges will be too visible. And all of the rest of these parameters are the same thing as the on-screen control sliders here. Section three and four are your borders. This is where you can customize the effect to fit your brand and style. Just click your color palette and select whatever color you'd like. You can even use the dropper to select a specific color on your viewport, which can come in handy. You can adjust the thickness of that border. The offset is essentially the size of the border in a way. So for a different look, I could make this a little bigger than the shot and fade the inside a bit. And this results in a really cool and unique look. And if you want, you can toggle on the second border in the fourth section, maybe unlink the color to the main border, and then change that color to a new one. I'll adjust the offset of this border. And now we have this cool tube looking border effect around our shot. And of course, you can play with the fade parameters on this border as well to give you different options. Section five is really cool. You can make it so your picture in picture has a background of your choosing. So for example, I could use the awesome plugin Keeper from FX Factory to cut myself out of the shot, or you can use a green screen and green screen yourself out if you have that. Make sure to place Keeper or the keyer for the green screen before the picture in picture effect so it affects your shot first, and that will allow the picture in picture effect to be applied over top. And look how cool. We can change the color of this background with some grain applied for texture. But what's really awesome is the fact that you can hit this drop zone, select a video or picture in your browser, and have that be your background for an even more customized effect. So if this was for gaming content, I could take my pretend gaming logo of a wolf, place the built-in blobs generator in Final Cut underneath, and change the colors. Make a compound clip of these two by selecting them and pressing Option G. And then in the picture in picture effect, click the drop zone button and select that compound clip either on your timeline or in your library and hit apply. Make sure to switch the type from color solid to drop zone. Then just resize and reposition and maybe toggle on the source drop shadow to add a shadow behind you. And now you have a really professional looking effect that is personalized to your brand. And this was pretty damn easy to set up. 
The last section, section number six, is your drop shadow. This places a realistic looking shadow behind the picture in picture to help give more depth to your effect. You can then adjust the distance, blur, and angle of the shadow how you'd like. This plugin is so solid, and best of all, it is affordable. At the moment, it is only $25, and I also got you guys a 10% discount code to make this $25 plugin even cheaper. The link to the plugin is in the description, and have a great rest of your day, guys.